Okay. This is going to be one of the annoying ones, isn't it? Oh, shoot. Okay, um. <coughs> Game capture. Have to leave that all in, huh? I meant to do this as a, as an audio check. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Hey. Hey, it works now. <laughs> oh, I gotta fix it though. There we go. There we go. Let me just kind of, it won't let us, well, well, and I kind of have to, kind of have to just deal with the black bar at the top. That'll, that'll be fine, right? That'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's sure enough striking me that's not fine, but it's fine. Gosh, I sure hope the audio is okay. <laughs> uh, the reason I was laughing so much is because I went into the settings, and I went into game settings. <laughs> you can turn the romance off. We'll set to have romance display on or off. I don't know what that means, but the idea of turning off the romance in the visual novel really delighted me. <laughs> Welcome to Hakuki, Vito Blossoms. Um, I've never played this or any of the other games, so we're just kind of going to roll with it and see what happens. Hopefully the audio's fine. <laughs> audio's kind of loud on my end. Uh, do we want... Do we want... Let's change that. Let's use... Wait, hold on, maybe I should Google something real quick to make sure that I'm not about to do something that would be irrevocably bad for the next uh, 60 hours. You know, if all things go well, 60 hours, you know? Uh,
sure this means bunny. Yeah, okay. Good. Cool. There we go. This is gonna be cringe. Okay. <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. This will make more sense than calling ourselves bunny in this, in this scenario. Yes, it can. You can lie. Yes! Yes! I'm committed to this bit. Yes. I think. I'm pretty sick. Oh, I get to pick? Oh, I get to pick right off the bat. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many. Um. Uh. This is what? Okay, there's seven here, and five here, so that's twelve characters. I like Saito, but I also like Black Hair Blast's character, because I have a type. Let's go with this one. Let's go with go with this one, because it's the first one. Well, no, actually. Uh, let's go with this one, because it's the first one. Does Shizo think she had a... We're about to absolutely butcher some Japanese names, by the way. But just like... Like a freight train. We're just gonna come through and we're gonna fuck them all up. Okay. This is fine. Winter, eighteen sixty four. In order to find my father, with whom I'd lost contact, I, Usachan Ikimura, visited Kyoto. In that city, I bore witness to a horrifying secret hidden within a group called the Shinsugiri, the Fury, a creature with white hair and crimson eyes. Luckily, I was saved from the vicious clutches of the Furies by Saito and Okita of the Shinsengumi, and perhaps more importantly, Toshizo Hajikida. <laughs> because I had discovered the Shinsengumi secrets, it was proposed that I live with the Shinsengumi then, since they were also searching for my father. As such, I was to serve under Hajikata as the commander's page, a role I performed proudly. So thus began my life with the Shinsengi. I heard rumors, well, whispers really, that the Shinsengi was little more than a bunch of crooked ronin, but my life with them proved otherwise. Their commitment to protect the safety of Kyoto made them the last of a dying breed. True samurai. set them apart from those who only craved power. The man tasked with leading the Shinsengumi through these trying times was Hajikita, who perhaps was better known as the Demon Commander. However, as I spent more time with him, I realized that this facade was a front in order to motivate his men in times where victory seemed impossible. I remember one such time where three men claiming to be demons. Shikaji, Kazuma, Kyuji, Amagiri, 
and Kyoshiro Nimi confronted the Shinsengumi. We're just gonna call that good enough. <laughs> I discovered that I too was of demon lineage. Oh, <laughs> which explained why they'd been pursuing me. But it was Hajikita who had been protecting me all along. Our situation, however, became increasingly dire. Anti-shogunate sentiments were growing intensely throughout the country, and the war between the shogunate and the Setsuma Shoshu seemed inevitable. Then finally the battle of Toba Fushimi the year had begun. In order to protect me, Hachikata had drunk of the water of life, which transformed him into a fury, and overcame Kazuma in a one-on-one -on -one battle. The Satsuma and Choshu, however, were victorious. So the Shinsengumi was forced to flee the city they called home and killed him, and headed for Edo. That's one of the things I probably should have looked up how to pronounce. Chapter 1. Well, I like a brief prologue. <laughs> I've gotten an achievement. Isn't that nice? <laughs> After arriving in Edo, we stayed at the Kama Inn, which was located in Shinagawa and had normally had been designated for Hatamoto exclusively. A recent attempt on Kondo's life required that he and Okita, who had contracted tuberculosis, oh gracious, were to stay with Dr. Matsumoto to treat their conditions. Losing the Battle of Toba Fushima and Osaka Castle and Lord Yoshinobu, the Supreme Commander, retreating. The fate of the Shinsugami grew... Shin, I, I'm going to start over. The fate of the Shinsengumi grew bleaker and troops began openly voicing their doubts and concerns. Yo, anyone know when Chief is coming back? Better not have run away just to save his ass like Yoshinobu. So not going to no way, he'd never do that. This is a weird voice to commit to immediately, but I don't have a voice for you. You can't have a voice for you. You can't have a voice for you. Look, all of you who are complaining are better off just focusing on the work we had ahead of us. Soma was the one to speak up against the, against the naysayers. Normally, such insubordination was met with harsh reprimanding, if not more, but things had changed. Demera, Osaberi ga sugiru ze. Hima de shouga nen nara. Katana no tegre de moshite tara douda. Voices that need happening. Okay. Hey, you guys are talking too much. If you've got time to screw around, how about you go sharpen your swords, huh? Ha! Moshiaki gozaimasen! Yes, sir, my apologies. It wasn't just the tempers of the soldiers that were fraying. Nagakura and the others were just as tense. Haruda watched the two men scurry off inside. Well, I can see where they're coming from. Sorry, 
As soon as war broke out, the man at the top was the first to run. It doesn't get worse than that. Maybe, but I mean, what else can you expect? Wasn't the man a national loyalist for Mito? He probably just pissed himself once he saw the Satcho waving the gold brocade flag. He can't look like much of a threat from the outside of things. Don't give me that loyalist bullshit. If you turn your back on your men who are willing who are willing to die for you, all of you are all you are is a son of a bitch. I can't enunciate. Um so what's gonna happen now? Kondo stuck in the head. Even if you wanted to take it to the Satcho again, our swords ain't gonna touch them if they have guns. We're screwed. There's a pistol samurai in this fight, what? Samurai with a gun. <laughs> but, like. It's not like the gun you'd expect a samurai to wield if you were expecting a samurai with a gun. <laughs> if you were not expecting a samurai with a gun, I've got some news for you. <laughs> samurai gun. <laughs> Rakakura sighed, letting his shoulders slump. If the men under you are willing to give their lives for your cause, the morale can always be raised. No matter what odds you may be up against. The Yoshinobu, in spite of this, chose to retreat. Then what were the Shinsengumi supposed to fight for? What were they supposed to do? Osaki Makura da yana. Are gonna come right to Mochikomo da Gadoji. Yoshiwara ni de Masu ni ka. Future's looking pretty dark for us. Thinking about it. About it's just bumming me out though. Maybe we ought to head over to Yoshiwara. Yoshiwara? Yoshiwara? Really? In a time like this? Of course, you idiot. Times like this are what we gotta party hard. We gotta lift the spirit somehow. So, uh -huh. does anyone know where Saito is? I haven't seen him around lately. No more asked aloud, glancing around the room. Saito Nara, Higani, a Bionin, the Yosu, Mirkame, Matsumoto Sensei, and Tokoni, the Kakirumi. Saito is off to Dr. Matsuma Motos. He's checking in on the injured and sick. Naruto. I see. Winning the next battle was of utmost importance. <laughs> I knew everyone was giving everything they had, but memories of the peaceful times back in Kyoto were like a candle flickering in the wind, one breath away from darkness. Sometimes I wondered. I wondered if those memories really happened at all. One day, an unexpected guest had visited the comet man. Konnichiwa. Gobusatashimasu. Hello. It's been a while. Oh, I believe you were... Kiba, was it? Hi. Toshi-san ni yoji ga atte kimashita. Yes. I've come to discuss some important matters for Toshi. Would you mind taking me to him? Sure. Please wait a moment. Sometime after I led Iba to Hijikata's room, murmurs of conversation suddenly became exclamations. What? Are you sure? 
Yes, supposedly he has now has come to his attention. Meaning he can't hear us. No, we need to we need to talk to him. I don't care how. If we don't we're stuck here. I'll go. And with that Hajikita stormed out of the room in a fit. He looked awful when I had come in. Really all I can hope for is that he'd be alright. Um, did something happen? Hajikata planned to meet with a member of the Bakushin today, but I'd gotten word that he planned on not showing, so I came to notify Hajikata. Hajikata had been attempting to gather Shogunate support to launch another campaign against the Satsuma Chushu by meeting with Shogunate leaders. Just gonna butcher it. Just gonna butcher it and keep going. However, the unwillingness of the Shogunate leaders to entertain Hachikata's desperate initiative means. You think the Shogunate, Sh Shogunate, Shogunate doesn't want to fight against the Imperial Army anymore? Whatever the case, Lord Yoshinobu has declared military control to the American Imperial Army. My superiors have instructed me not to make any rash decisions Shortly after Iba had left Kama-in, a familiar figure approached to ask me something. Yukimura, is the commander inside? Oh, you just missed him. He stepped out. Did you have business with him? Geez, ever since we got here to Edo, he's been working non-stop. I know. I seriously wonder how he finds the time to sleep, if at all. As far as I knew, Hajikata should have been suffering an agonizing pain during the daylight hours because of his... because of... yeah, his condition as a fury. However, seeing him work as tirelessly as he does, one would have no clue of his affliction at all. Shimada, are you okay? You look a little more gaunt than usual, like you've lost some weight. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, ever since Yamazaki passed away, I've had a lot more work to do. But he left it to me, and I'll be damned if I dishonor his memory by messing it up. And after seeing how far the command is pushing himself on us, it wouldn't feel right if I just sat around all day, you know? I suppose. I know how Shimada felt, but he was actually in a position to contribute. Unlike Shimada, there was nothing I could do for him, Hajikata. Hajikata. Even though I yearned to be involved and do whatever I could to help him. The day he 
died, he knew he had told me. And while I might not be much help to the Shinsengini as a warrior, there were other ways that I might be of service. Those are some words, some choice words to have made. But we're not going to read into it. Because, but what could I do for them? I thought about that every day since Inui and Yamazaki died, but I had yet to think of what it was that I could do. So, I have other things to do, so I'll take care Well, I've got plenty more to do, so I'll be on my way. Oh, yes, of course. Please be careful. So, so. By the way, I heard there are a lot of killers on the streets these days. Creeps are looking to test their swords on a living body. Don't travel alone, okay? Okay. Shimura nodded, then he lifted himself out of to his foot and left. Eat. Multiple foot. Multiple foot. Later that night, I was waiting in the empty common room for the captains to return. I sat idly, twirling my hands and my fingers when I saw... Yo! Konbanwa! Evening, Lusa-chan. Oh, hi, Suki. Where is everyone else? Shinpat-san and Sano-san are going to take care of Yoshiwara. And I'm going to take care of you. And I'm going to take care of you. Shin and Sano took the men to Yoshuara, and wouldn't you believe it, they left me behind the house sick. Man, I'm not a servant, you know. They can't keep giving me this kind of bitch work. Well, it's, I guess it's cool that they're acting like usual. To me, I mean, like nothing's ever changed. His laugh sounded small and lonely in the empty hall. Oh, that reminds me. Do you know where Sana is? Did he go somewhere? Yeah, I heard he's out on patrol. Patrol? But... We're not in Kyoto anymore. No one's asked us to keep the peace in Edo. Why is he still doing it? Asuka's face turned solemn, as if he were quietly searching for words while I waited in front of him. And then... Saren's been acting weird lately. Like just today, as soon as the sun went out, he told me he was leaving on patrol. I asked if he wanted me to go with him, but he said he'd be fine on his own. No, not Skip. Gracious. His base bar is Skip for some reason. Oh. Well, I heard there have been a lot of killings at night recently. Maybe he went out to see if he could learn something about that. He might not have the same authority that he had in Kyoto, but the Shinsengini still worked for the Shogunate. Perhaps someone was simply trying to protect you, regardless of whether he'd been asked to or not. Well, if that's the deal, then good. Haisuke didn't really sound like he actually thought it was, however. Oh, Ichiki Ichikata, welcome back. You're still up? His face was still pale, but his tone was sharp. As I watched, I realized that he was only barely standing. He shook just slightly as he moved, and I got the feeling that if he let his concentration slip even a little, he would simply collapse. His legs wobbled underneath his kimono. And he curled his lips bitterly. There was something wrong, but what should I say? Ah. Uh, is there anything 
anything I can do? Um, is there anything I can do to help? I knew what the answer would be, but I couldn't help asking. No, just stay put and stop thinking about that. Oh, I see. Even though everyone else was working themselves to the bone, barely sleeping or eating, all I could do was sit around. Useless. Hey, don't give me that look. Oh, I I'm sorry. I realized as my words came out that I'd only made things worse and apologizing would make me sound more miserable. That wasn't good at all. I need to be more cheerful. If I couldn't help, the least I could do is not bring everyone down. Now see, my logic was, if I tell him to go rest, he's just going to brush me off like an idiot. And turns out he just brushed me off like I was an idiot anyway. So here we are. Oh! I did the right thing! I think. I think I did the right thing. You don't need to worry about us. Just go make some tea, alright? Your tea isn't that bad, I guess. Oh, okay, cool. Good to know my tea sucks. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll be right back. I ran off to the kitchen with a grin on my face. Hajikata's words cheered my mood even just a bit. Ajikata, you put up a good front, but you're really pretty easy on it. Shut it. Here you go. I could only find some rakugan to go with the tea, but. Come on, eh. Nondara sumu shimotoni modorana ke narane. It's fine. I have to get back to work as soon as I drink this anyway. So nani hotarai de daijobu na mokka. Rasetsu ni natchimata. Are you sure you're gonna be alright? You're a fury now. You should be sleeping during the day and working at night. Hajikata didn't answer, instead choosing to sip his tea and sit in silence for a long drawn out moment. When we were leaving Osaka, Osaka Castle, Kondo said something. もし自分が大将だったら、たとえ兵士が2、300人になっちまっても、大阪城で戦う。とことんまで戦って。He says that if he were the shogun, even if he only had 200 men, he would have locked himself in the castle and fought until no one was standing. Then he would have gutted himself like an honorable warrior. Now he's stuck in bed, shot in the shoulder. He died for any of us, and we all know it. Sure, I feel like shit, but that doesn't mean I get to rest. The prospect of handing over a fully functioning Shinsengumi to his friend brought a gleam to in his eye. Shinsengumi to his master and friend. The rest of the men worried because their chief was wounded by a coward's bullet. Hijikata was buoyed by the simple fact that Kondo was alive and that he had the courage to do what other leaders would not. He finished his tea quickly and returned to his room with only perfunctory thanks. Yesterday, his light had stayed on late into the night. Today would likely be no different. Got a bad feeling things are just gonna get worse from here. Hijikata-san was still in the hospital. He 
Ichikata is a fury, but it doesn't look like he's starting to feel the bloodlust yet. Bloodlust? When you become a fury, something happens to you. While sometimes you really, really want to drink blood, like you need to. It hurts, and not like how it hurts when you get beat up during sword practice. You want to die just because that'll make the pain stop. Oh no! Hachikata already looked terrible. If unbearable pain were suddenly added to his list of many burdens. Is there any way to do anything about it? Well, if you drink some blood, then it goes away almost immediately, but only for a while. The longer you go, the more painful it gets. First, you only need a little blood to feel better, but after a while, you need more. And pretty soon, you need a whole lot of blood before it goes away. Oh. I... I was at a loss for words. A monster that could only survive by drinking human blood. That's right. This is technically a vampire game. I got y'all. <laughs> it seemed like the kind of monster that you could only hear about in Legends. What about you, Hisuke? Are you, um, drinking blood? You, uh, you want drinking that blood stuff? Come on, you can't ask me that. Yes, I can. He made some manner of excuse after that, and then shot up. He departed from the common room quietly, leaving me alone with my thoughts about Hachikata. Was he really okay? Had Hachikata already experienced the bloodlust Hasuki told me about? Did he refuse to tell anyone about his suffering? He couldn't have been in the throes of it when I saw him, but it was clear that sooner or later he would find himself in a great deal of pain. He was doing so much for the Shinsengumi. I wanted to do something, anything to ease that pain, including being a blood-flavored LaCroix. Uh, I know. He'd been doing research on the Furies. Perhaps he'd left something useful behind in my house, or the one that used to be mine. It was already too late to visit, so I resolved to go the next day and see if I could find anything. The following day, I left a neatly written note behind at the end for anyone who may have been wondering where I was heading. That's where we're going to stop for today. Can I not hit escape? Okay, escape doesn't pause. Everyone wait while I figure out what escape is. My controller isn't plugged in. Is it tap? No. Is it shift? No. Is it control? No. Is it alt? No. Is it Alt F4? Probably not. Whoop! Oh! I departed from my old house in Pijo. Escape. Escape would be the button. What's... can I get... nope. Hajikata had left long before me to meet with several members of the Shogunate. Surely, surely there must be a pause button. Tilda? No. Is it I? It's I. 
say. I don't know why it's I, or why I thought to hit I, but it's I. WarioWare record. Corruption low. Oh! Okay. Notes made. and his corruption is low. His, his blood corruption. So yeah. I don't think I did voices very well for any of them, but... Hey, it's fine. Yeah. 